Hello, my name is Witold Wolski. I work as a statistician and research um, scientist at the Functional Genomics Center in Zurich and the Computational Mass Spectrometry Group. I will be presenting the R package Prolefka, which is a comprehensive R package for protein differential expression analysis. First, I will introduce protein quantification with mass spectrometry. Then I will mention some challenges when implementing the R package, introduce the functionality and the implementation of the R package, show how we use tidy data, R6 classes and interfaces to make the use of the package easier. Then I will show a usage examples, talk on this occasion on input formats and how to analyze the data on PSM precursor peptidoform or protein level. Finally, I will briefly summarize our results of benchmarking and comparing the performance of our package with other packages and give the outlook of further developments we plan. What is protein quantification with mass spectrometry? It's a mass spectrometric method to determine relative abundances um, of proteins relative to other similar samples. Typically, you start with samples, with, with biological samples like cell cultures, tissue samples. You can treat these cell cultures and compare them to a control or compare healthy and diseased tissue samples. The proteins are extracted from the samples and then digested. The peptides are separated using a chromatographic method. They are then ionized and fragmented in the mass spectrometric instrument, and the masses of these fragments are recorded. Protein peptides and proteins are then identified and quantified. Basically, the recorded masses of the fragments are compared to theoretical peptide fragment masses computed from in silico protein sequence databases. We talked already about um, um, biological samples. I would like now to talk briefly about um, experiments which can be analyzed uh, using these methods. So as already mentioned, Yuan can determine relative differences in protein abundance and their statistical significance. And to do this, we report fault changes for discovery rates. Typically, um, or simple design of such experiment is to compare a treatment to a control group of samples, but more complex designs are possible. So one could also ask, does the treatment effect depends on the wild type or some knockout of the cells? So basically what we can also do is to test differences of te uh, differences. So in the first experiment, we would um, compare the treatment group to the control group in the wild type cell lines. In the second experiment, we will com uh, compare the treatment group to the control group in the knockout cell lines. And in the end, we can also compare these uh, the differences uh, com obtained in the knockout to the differences obtained in the wild type group and to answer uh, the question, does the treatment effect depends on the wild type or the knockout cell line? I want to mention one challenge um, uh, which we're facing when uh, analyzing uh, protein uh, abundance data. Basically, sometimes there is a large proportion of missing observations, specifically in, um, in plasma samples, for instance, different set of proteins are identified and quantified in each of the samples. Um, so only a few proteins are consistently measured in all the samples. And then we have like big groups of proteins, which, which are uh, unique to some subgroups of samples. Second, more technical challenge and uh, actually a good uh, thing is that there is a large variety of software uh, which can be used for identifying and quantifying uh, precursors, peptides, and proteins. Um, and uh, these software tools produce even a larger variety of output formats. 
uh, to address uh, these problems um, and also to um, um, to group the relatively wide um, range of functionality implemented in uh, in our package. Uh, we group the methods in R6 classes, and we have classes uh, which group methods for plotting, uh, methods for aggregating precursor data to peptide um, level data, and further on. We have methods for abundance transformation grouped in the transformation and in, in the transformer class. Uh, we have um, a summary class which groups methods for data summaries, like um, computing the proportion of missing data, um, computing the number of peptides or proteins per sample, etc. And to address um, the, uh, the variety of software, we basically provide um, uh, a configuration for each of the, out, uh, of the upstream software. We have a, a configuration which, which um, um, makes supporting um, different upstream software relatively easy. Um, if it comes to modeling, our package um, is supports and implements several models, uh, like um, uh, the Ropeka model, um, linear modeling uh, with uh, um, variance moderation. Um, we also provide uh, um, adapters to external packages, uh, for instance, to the, uh, to the Proda package, which implements a probabilistic dropout model. Um, and to uh, and um, basically the adapter to all these different method, med models implements a contrast interface. Uh, furthermore, we um, we also provide various model building strategies to allow to fit uh, linear models or linear mixed models to the data. A typical usage example is um, that we start with outputs from um, from a software, for instance, uh, from FragPipe. Um, then uh, the data is um, converted into a tidy data table um, to the to the date to the output of the analysis software. The annotation is added, which contains the explanatory variables, which will be used then in the modeling. Um, and all the data and that ends up in one large data frame, which then the methods in Prolevka know how to handle thanks to the configuration. Um, and um, so then the data can be aggregated, for instance, from precursor to peptide level, from peptide to protein level, and at each um, stage, um, diagnostic plots can be generated, for instance, here we uh, summarize the data and plot the number of proteins and the number of peptides in each of the samples or some statistics uh, can be computed like the CV of the protein in each of the group. And then we can uh, show uh, a violin pleat plot um, for um, showing the distribution of the CVs of all the proteins or generate a heat map um, visualizing the distribution of missing uh, values in the samples. Finally, uh, to model one uh, and to specify the model, one would use the, our formula interface um, and then uh, fit the model, specify the comparisons among the groups one wants to test, then um, run the tests. Um, and by running the tests, we obtain a contrast um, class, um, instance of the contrast class, which then implements methods for uh, plotting, visualizing the results. For instance, a volcano plot, which is a plot of the um, fun uh, of the false discovery rate uh, as a function of the of the differences among groups. Uh, we. Also um, benchmarked the methods um, implemented in our package using some benchmarking data sets where the ground truth is known. And we compared um, the methods of our package with methods implemented in other packages such as Proda, MSQROP2, or MSStats. Um, and these results were published um, this year in the Journal of Proteome Research. And we showed in our publications that 
um, our the methods implemented in our package perform similarly and sometimes better than the methods in the other packages. Uh, we also, um, and what was important to us is that uh, that all the um, the benchmarks can be uh, reproduced and followed up. And so um, on GitHub we have a Prolevka benchmark package um, with uh, the vignettes, which show how, for instance, um, we um, starting from a benchmark data set, one can run the differential expression analysis using the MS stats package, or um, using uh, the product package um, or our packages or our package. Using the methods in our package, one can also generate uh, HTML reports, some uh, describing um, the, uh, the differential expression analysis experiment. And these HTML reports consist of several sections. One such a report is shown here on the top right of the slide and it co and it con um, contains information project related information it uh, introduces uh, differential expression analysis um, and it sums up the design of the experiment and summarizes um, the number of protein identification and the quantification results um, discusses missingness um, shows coefficient of variation uh, plots um, um, clustering of the data for the more different it shows differential analysis um, results with volcano plots and tables um, which are actually interactive uh, so uh, so one can filter the data for for a protein of interest and uh, finally explains the output formats and gives pointers to follow up analysis like GCI and over representation analysis this package is also av av available on GitHub. And now to um, summarize, um, we use Prolevka to analyze LFQ, TMT, and PTM data. Um, we use it to create QC, sam uh, QC reports and uh, to estimate sample size. Uh, we uh, generate differential expression analysis reports in HTML um, and um, and also export the uh, data, the results of the analysis to, for instance, uh, Excel formats, but also to summarize the experiments. Uh, we use the Prolevka package for teaching a differential expression analysis um, in our protein informatics course. And we use it also for benchmarking new methods uh, for protein quantification and or identification. Outlook. And we uh, further want, we work um, on improving the test coverage of our package currently. It's already above 80%. We want to review the examples and the code examples in our package. Um, we want to move to simulated data for testing um, to reduce the R package size. And finally, um, what we want to work on is also some Bayesian modeling of protein quantification data to improve estimates and simplify handling of missing data. Um, what is also important um, is that our package is available on um, GitHub. It can be downloaded um, and um, contributions are very welcome. Last but not least, I would like to thank uh, my, my colleagues from the Proteome Informatics Computational Mass Spectrometry Group, uh, Jonas, Christian, and Maria. Uh, as well as the entire proteomics teams at the FGZ um, and the technology platform fund of the UZ, uh, of the University of Zurich, which um, provided some funding uh, to develop the project, the package. Uh, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>